Now let's watch the Zephyrtronics Benchtop system in action, both placing and soldering surface mount devices as well as observing the desoldering and removal of the SMDs the Zephyrtronics way. To desolder and remove an SMD device, first secure the printed circuit board into the ABC1 adjustable board cradle above the air bath as shown. From your LMK kit, dip an anti-static application foam swab into the no-clean tack flux. Apply the flux directly onto the leads of the component that you wish to desolder, which is in this case a quad flat pack. Turn on your ZT1 air bath by selecting the warm mode from the front panel. It is important to note that there is a temporary 3 to 5 second heater delay designed to enhance your element life. Preheating has now begun at the industry recommended ramp up rate of 2 to 4 degrees C per second, gently bringing the temperature of the rework area up to a maximum temperature of only 150 degrees C. In writing about the Zephyrtronics air bath preheating system, NASA's SMT soldering manual says that it bathes the circuit board in warm air to reduce thermal stresses to the board and its components. From your LMK kit, which has all of the essentials for SMD work at the bench, select a certified strand of Zephyrtronics low melt desolder wire. Using economy and in a random manner, melt the low melt desolder wire directly into the leads of the chip that you wish to desolder. Because no two PC boards are ever the same in size, thickness, or component density, and because the heat sinking characteristics will be different from board to board, some leads will require more low melt than others. Typically, not always, an SMD's four corners also need a bit more of the low melt desolder wire. In a 110 page report in 1999, Raytheon documented their testing results during reworking of SMT and through hole components on a wide variety of substrates including polyamide, ceramics, rim tech, and FR material with the Zephyrtronics air bath and low melt desoldering wire. In summary, the report concluded that the new process significantly reduces the necessary temperatures and rework time. The use of the low temperature solder, low melt, will significantly reduce the possibility of land and pan damage during the rework process. Finally, Given the advantages of low temperatures for rework and the results of this evaluation, the use of this method and materials for reworking SMT and difficult through-hole boards is recommended. It's important to be reminded that while we are working at the top of the board, that the PC board is being preheated from below at the low temperature of 150 degrees C. Returning to the top of the board, look at what is happening here. The low melt desoldering wire has co-metallized with the old existing joints bringing down the melting point to such a point that we are now ready for component removal. To remove the SMD, we now turn to the ZT3 AirPick vacuum lifting tool. After removing the handpiece from the AirPick's pyramidal holder, place your index finger over the orifice which creates a Venturi effect or a vacuum for lifting. Because each ZT3 AirPick is calibrated at the Zephyrtronics factory to be strong enough to lift up the largest SMD device and yet weak enough to never lift a pad, you can lift your component now with supreme confidence. By maintaining your preheat of 150 degrees from the bottom, the cleanup of the residual solder after component removal is a snap. Returning to the LMK kit, dip your foam swab into the no-clean flux as shown. With your fluxed foam swab, gently push the residual solder into a single sphere as demonstrated here. The remaining solder sphere can be removed easily by sweeping it onto a business card or by utilizing a hot desoldering tool which quickly evacuates the remaining solder. A final swabbing of flux to the PC board and the lens is recommended to polish your pads. Switch from the warm mode to the cool mode from the front panel of the air bath which begins the cooling down of your PC board from underneath. For final cleanup, dip your foam swab into a non-flammable flux remover and apply it to the pads liberally as shown here. A secondary swabbing with non-flammable flux remover enhances quality and cosmetics and is always helpful. Now turn the ZT1 air bath off and we're ready to inspect our board. And just look at these pads, pristine and intact like new. 
and best of all there was no adjacent component reflow and the chips underneath were never disturbed never overheated because the PC board was only at 150 degrees C throughout the entire process. Let's stop and review what we've just seen. Without high temperature, without any hot air nozzles, without any contact tools whatsoever, we have just removed a surface mount device at less than 150 degrees and all in a matter of seconds it really is as easy as it looks. This is the science of Zephyrtronics.